KJ is already in the strongest battlegrounds. Well, in a way. Let me just show you what I mean. So, as you may know, two days ago I made a post where I said that KJ is already in the game. And some people didn't believe me. They were all like, nah, he's not in the game. That's what they said, right? They thought it was an edited image. But the truth is, you have to be in a private server. That's what they didn't know. I don't say it just because. I mean, if you check the characters, you know, you got the normal ones. You got Gojo, which is, you know, the first special character. He's got all of these cool things, you know, like the infinity repulse. that just one shots anyone. You know, he's got these big explosions. He's crazy. Nobody beats him. Now you probably get what I'm trying to say. KJ is also on this list now. And he's not like a normal character. You can see he's special. So he's he's got crazy moves you probably know by now. I mean, I'm sure you've seen a few leaks. Or you know, players using it. 99.9% .9 of the players don't have it. But you know, there's some people that have it. Now if you click on it, you get this message the strongest battlegrounds is a part of the 2024 innovation awards oh if the strongest battlegrounds wins any award we promise good things please vote for people's choice and best strategy now just in case you don't know what innovation award means let me give a quick explanation if you're an old player you probably heard of bloxy awards but if not i'll just show you what it means anyways it's pretty much an award that's given every year and there's a lot of categories like best content creator of the year like this one for example and of course there's game of the year and all sorts of categories like this guy for example he's holding a trophy because he won an award let me just spin it yeah there we go he developed a lot of stuff as you can tell and oh uh, yeah looks like he's got the fifth award a long time ago so i think you get what i'm trying to say Getting nominated for something like that is a big thing, big achievement, you know. But why did we not see the strongest battlegrounds last year? Well, last year, the strongest battlegrounds had way less players. When I started playing, he was a height. I'm pretty sure he had like a default map. So yeah, now that there's like hundreds of thousands of players, even on a day with no updates, they have a high chance of getting the award now. But I'm gonna go over KJ in a bit. First, I want to show you some really interesting drama that's been going on. Alright, so you know how the strongest battlegrounds got nominated in the strategy category. So, you know, I would have said this makes sense. Like, you need strategy to know when to dash and coordinate with your teammates in 2v2s. Like, to calculate the dashes and the combos. But, um, yeah, not, not everyone has that opinion. Now... Tower Defense Simulator is a pretty strategic game as well, I mean, it depends, but you do have to know where to place the towers and everything, so it's, it's, not, it's not that easy either, you know. Now, there's a lot of fans for that game, That's, that game got second place. The reason it got second place is, you know, because of Strongest Battlegrounds, That's, it just has like 8 times more votes at the time I'm recording this, not even close. Now let's just say that the tower defense simulator fans are not happy with that. You know how the strongest battlegrounds promised free KJ and that they were gonna work on Boros? Yeah, apparently tower defense simulator also promised something. So uh, the fans are not happy. They've been they've been complaining in the Discord, which um this is the link if you wanna join. It, it wasn't just normal complaining. It was crazy spam. It, it was crazy, like, bro. It got so bad. To the point where a manager had to make an announcement. TSB is a strategy game. And he pretty much showed some kind of a graphic on how you have to think about coordinating with your teammates and stuff like that. Which is, I just, I just thought it was pretty funny that they actually had to make an announcement. Because there were too many players complaining. I mean, that 200,000 people that voted for Tower Defense Simulator. That's still not a small number, alright? That's, that's still a lot. Yeah, there's also people that said the strongest battlegrounds rigged the vote somehow. But that's crazy assumptions. I don't even know if you could prove that. Doesn't really make sense. Now, at the time of me recording this, the strongest battlegrounds has 1.5 million votes. Tower Defense Simulator has 200k, which is pretty good. It's, it's just clear who the winner is here. Of course, there's more categories like RDC voting, where, uh, you know, they have to 
win and I, I think they're gonna win this category as well. Now there's also an action games category and uh, they're gonna compete with Blocks Fruits. Now if you're not up to date with the most popular games, I, I would be surprised if you don't know what Blocks Fruits is to be honest. It's a good game, it's really popular, the strongest background is popular but I wouldn't say it's as popular as Blocks Fruits. Even though lately it's been growing like crazy, if you were to ask me, I'd say the strongest battlegrounds could win. Now the reason I say this is because they've been making a lot of announcements, right? The strongest battlegrounds has been nominated for three categories. If we win, we promise good things. KJ and Boros. Yes, that Boros we've all been waiting for is gonna come. I used to expect like half a million players when Boros releases. But we already had that in an update, so there is gonna be close to 1 million. Now, KJ is also gonna release soon. So if that's the case, when KG releases, we might just get a million. I'm not even joking. I, I don't know if that's possible, but with the KJ thing, it might just happen. Okay, so yeah, they, they you know, vote the strongest battlegrounds here. We also have a tutorial on how to vote. That's how it works. He's... We're, we're winning this. That's I, I can say that. Then they also said, Can you guys chill out? I replaced the KG text with the emoji so it's shorter. By the way, for each category we win, the longer KG is gonna be usable. So um, that's gonna make players want to vote it even more. Imagine it's like an hour for each category or a day possibly. I don't even know if we're gonna get them in public servers. But that would be crazy. Imagine using KJ in a public server. I mean, there's a KJ ultimate that just deals 99% damage to anyone that's around you. So imagine that being spammed by everyone. That just wouldn't be, wouldn't be doable, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. So does the color of the text mean KJ is gonna be in a private server only? Just like this guy? Or does it only mean it's special? More special than the rest. We don't know yet. And both of these would kind of make sense. So we, we're not sure. So yeah, at the end of the day, we already know we're gonna get KJ. That's for sure. The only thing that remains is, uh, you know, winning the best fighting category. Which, you know, it's, uh, it's the last one. But it's also gonna be the hardest one. I mean, the owner said we're gonna have the character for longer if we win this category as well. He knows it's gonna be a tough one. Because Blocks Fruits, like I said is in this category we won the other categories with no problem nothing you use just fine a million votes over the other games even more than a million actually so yeah a lot of players think blocks fruits is gonna win yeah i don't know if blocks fruits has any tricks like the kj thing like i would i would believe they did something but yeah when i'm recording this Blocks Fruits has 600,000 players and the strongest backgrounds has 170,000 so what is that like five times more um i don't know man it's a lot more players but then again blocks fruits barely got a million votes in their category the strongest battlegrounds got over a million and a half so i do believe uh there's there's still hope i want to make a country and it's only the strongest battlegrounds players and we conquer the world and i totally agree so uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about kj and uh, let me know in the comments if you think KG is too OP or if he's gonna be fun.